Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So according to arstechnica.com, GOG or GOG, however you want to name it, the distribution platform on PC is offering a 30 day refund on games. Not just that, but there isn't any time limit you can play those games. And this is really a little bit too generous if you ask me and it has flaws it might backfire because as you can see here what they are saying quote don't take advantage of our trust by asking for an unreasonable amount of games to be refunded don't be that person no one likes that person so this is purely based on trust I mean it's really a good thing in essence however it's not practical you cannot expect people really to not take advantage of your trust of course I'm not speaking about most people but the amount of people who might get that to their advantage can be harmful to their business they continue saying we trust that you're making informed purchasing decisions and will use this updated voluntary refund policy only if something does not work as expected. The frequently asked questions continues. Please respect all the time and hard work put into making the games you play and remember that refunds are not reviews. If you finish the game and didn't like it, please consider sharing your opinion instead. And that's perfectly fine. They worded it in a very reasonable manner. But again, like 30 day is cool, is fine. But no time limit in playing is a little bit on the dangerous side here. They could have probably made something like 4 hours or so, knowing that, for example, Steam offers 14 days and 2 hours of gameplay. If you do not exceed those 14 days window after purchase and 2 hours of gameplay, you're fine, you're still eligible for a refund. And of course there are other companies that are way worse. So for example, Sony gives you a refund but only to their PlayStation Network. So for example, you bought a game with $60 and then you didn't like it for some reason. You are eligible to refund, but only in the PlayStation Store. So they will give you that money to spend it again on their store. So if you made some kind of stupid impulse buy-in, for example, and then you regretted it and you wanted those $60 back for whatever reason you need them, Good luck with that. I think there are even some strange things for Sony in particular. Probably if you download the game, you cannot refund it. And then there are other companies like Nintendo who don't even offer a refund to begin with. And they say, yeah, there are so many reviews, so on and so forth. So please make your purchase after seeing those reviews and if you don't like the game too bad for you we cannot refund you so again 30 days is good but no hourly limit for playing the game can be really really dangerous for them i don't know how they made this i mean gog is one of those companies or distribution platforms that are really nice because they don't have drm checks but that costs them a lot because many companies don't want to have a DRM free game. You know, DRM affects performance a lot, but they'd rather protect their games in some sort of flawed manner rather than distributing them in DRM less fashion. And then one of the promoted comments here on this site says note that GOG probably isn't losing anything with this since it is trivial to get the games illegally that's the other side of no DRM no protection either anyone who really wants a GOG game can probably find it all on their own so offering refunds 
for purchases is just good customer service. It means that people can try out the little indie titles to see if they are any good without risking anything. If it's terrible, they can get a refund. If it's acceptable, they won't. They can sample the games whether or not they buy them. So might as well make it official, no? You see, like even with the two hours that Steam offers, you can get a good grasp of what the game is about exactly and you may just not like it from the get-go. Of course there are some games that are slow to begin with so you cannot really understand how the game is until you play it for more than two hours. Probably four hours is like really enough at least that's how I can see it. So GOG could at least give some time limit so that you know the bad people in there between quotes don't take advantage of this. It will be interesting to see how this will evolve in the future and how customers will deal with this new good policy from GOG and if it works for them no problems it's great it's just another layer of trust between the customer and the distribution platform here if it doesn't I think that it is safe to say that it was not so smart a move to begin with. In a way, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and I will talk to you again soon. Have a good one.